Hey everyone, today I have a quick tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to save your emails as a PDF in Gmail on a Windows 10 computer. Maybe you've received some emails and you need to convert them to a PDF document. This is really quick and easy to do. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right over to my Windows 10 computer and show you how to save your emails as a PDF in Gmail. All right, so here we are on my Windows 10 computer. You can go ahead and load up your Gmail account on your computer. And the first thing we need to do is actually search for the email that we'd like to save as a PDF. So I happen to have one here. I sent it to myself. It's called, this is a test. We can go ahead and left click on that and load up the email that we'd like to save as a PDF. So you can see this one just says, this is a test over and over again. And I have a picture here of Canada Place from downtown Vancouver in this email. So one of the cool features here in Windows 10 is the save as PDF or print to PDF option. So our next step is actually to find the little print icon here in the top right hand corner, small icon of a printer. When you hover over that, it says print all. You can go ahead and left click on that and that's gonna bring up the print options for this email. Now you can see it all loaded up here, but it's currently in black and white. So we'll fix that in just a moment. Over here on the right-hand side, you can see it says print, and under that it says destination. And you can see currently my Canon printer is selected, and that's actually only a black and white printer. That's why you're only seeing this in black and white. So we wanna go ahead, go over to this drop down here, and we can click on this. And we're looking for the option right here that says save as PDF. You can go ahead and select save as PDF and it's gonna switch it over to color, which is perfect because PDFs can hold color images and text. Now, if this looks good to you, we can go ahead and click on the save button, but if it's stretched out, it's too big, or maybe it's too small, we'll show you how to fix that right now. So right here, you'll see an option that says more settings. If you go ahead and click on more settings, a drop is gonna pop up. And you'll see this option here that says scale. Now, currently it's set to default. If we click on this and go to custom, you can see right now it's selected as 120, which makes it really big and puts it on two pages. So we can adjust this scale right here. There's up and down arrows. We can just go ahead and move that and it'll adjust that. Or we can type it in manually. So maybe we want it really small. We can type in 80 here and you can see it'll shrink it down even smaller on one page. So if you do need to adjust the size, you can do that through the scale option here. I'm gonna switch this back to default so it's all looking perfect as my email should. So that's what it looks like in the Chrome browser. If you're using a different browser, it might look slightly different. This is the Edge browser. And you can see over here, when I select my printer, it's on the left-hand side now. And I wanna select Microsoft Print to PDF, so it's called something slightly different. But you can go ahead and click on that. And as well here, I will have to select whether I want it in black and white or color. So you can see there's a color option here. I'm just gonna switch that to color. And if you do wanna adjust the scale, you can find that under more settings here. Just go ahead and click on more settings and you should see the scale here that you can adjust up and down. Let's switch back over to Chrome and finish off converting this to PDF. So let's go ahead and hit save here and it's gonna bring up a save as box where we can choose where we'd like to save the file. If you want it in your documents, you can do that or your desktop. I'll save it on my desktop and we can also choose to change the file name. It's currently set to Gmail and then the title of the email, which was this is a test. Maybe you wanna change that to Vancouver. You can just change it to whatever you like right there. And when you're all done that, just go ahead and click the save button here in this box. So we'll go ahead and click save and it should save that over to a PDF on our desktop. So let's go have a look for that. I'll minimize this. And you can see it showed up right there. Let's open up this PDF document. There it is and it's all in color, it's perfect. And it's really that simple to save your emails as a PDF in Gmail on a Windows 10 computer. So hope this tutorial was able to help you save your emails as a PDF in Gmail in Windows 10. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.